G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Just leaving Whitehorse Hills and heading for Mount Wells. So, by the sounds of it, there's going to be a bit of up and down. It's 6 a.m. Friday the 4th of September 2020. And it's fairly mild, it's nice. Six twenty, and I can now see without my headlamp on. And look at this! Isn't it beautiful? All this wildflowers. It's been a gradual incline and decline up to now. The track's been a bit rocky in places, so keep your eyes open. But temperatures dropped a little bit. It started walking, but not a lot. Not enough to cold, uh, make me cold, especially with walking, that's keeping me warm too. We got to these rocky bits where there's not many places to put signs up to show you which way to go. We have these little piles of stones known as cairns or cairns, and you'll see them dotted around, and they're just guiding you the way along the track. So if you're wondering or start panicking. When you get to the top of one of the hills or one of them top of the mountains and you can't see an actual wobbles, look out for them, the little cairns or cairns and they'll lead you along the top of the rock. There's some more on top of that rock there. So they can lead me across the top, down the other side and onto the track. I've got some black clouds coming in, so I've just got my poncho out hanging here just in case. Just double check I haven't left anything behind. Nope. Yeah, I had a, I had a quick change as well. I took my base layer off because I was getting a bit too warm. And I've had to take my beanie off because I was overheating. Right. What time is it? I didn't look at the time, did I? Seven forty-three. I usually carry a watch on here. But I left it in my hammock, so that's in the pack somewhere. Now, I'll get that when I get to uh, Mount Wales. Okay. 
eight o'clock and four kilometers in. And hills, or the hill, I did a video of a, a panorama video. That was hard work getting up there. And then on the way down, my knee went. So I had to take it really careful. But we're four kilometers in with I said 10 to go. I think today is yet yeah, today's 14.3 kilometers. And we've got the big hill of Mount Wales to get up, which is the very last bit to get up to the shelter. I'll get up to uh, the campsite. The rain clouds seem to have mostly passed over. So it tempted just a little bit of a sprinkle. <coughs> Excuse me. But still dry. Oh, uh, rain forecast for Sunday. So I I might just sleep in the shelter Saturday night. So I've got less to pack up Sunday morning and get an early start to be picked up in dwelling up. But it's beautiful out here. It's just after nine o'clock and about halfway. The last couple of kilometres have been fairly level. So I, I stopped along the way and uh, had a little sit down, got my, took my pack off and had a drink of water. Uh, the scenery is just fantastic. I've seen the kangaroos out here. I haven't seen anything else yet. So, oh, a couple of lizards. There's not uh, many wargles on this section. And you do start to worry after a while when you haven't seen one for one or two kilometers and all of a sudden there they are. And then another one, only a matter of 100 metres away and then not at the end for another kilometre or so. Uh, just follow the track and all should be fine. And better see, still, if you see somebody else's boot prints, you know you're going the same way as somebody else. I just hope they're not getting lost too. Remember to keep hydrated. A bit of a headache coming on, so I think I'm not drinking enough water. And it doesn't help, so uh, how are we now? 12 days ago, I had a fall and I went down on my arm straight and I did the deltoid, but I didn't realize how much I'd hurt my neck muscles too. And with carrying this pack with the weight in, I can feel that. Uh, So I think I should have waited another week or two before I could come into these four days. But I'm nearly halfway through it, so I'll carry on. It's warmed up. It's not as hot as it was the last time I did it. I think we're looking at about 16 to 18 degrees centigrade today. Last time I did it, it got up to 35. So, yeah, only half the temperature, which is not bad. Makes it a bit easier. <coughs> Excuse me. Might have been six years older. Doesn't make it any easier. Uh, 
So here we are at the bottom of Mount Wells by the looks of it. Let's start walking up this mountain. Uh, the last 700 meters to the top of Mount Wells there's a 100 meter elevation so it's steep all the way up all right better get on I can see the top I'll hold camera straight and see how steep it is so Probably take two goes and I'll get up there. I'll see you at the top. So today's walk from White Horse Hills to Mount Wells. There you go. It was a really nice walk. You can walk up, uh, well this morning I walked up the hills heading out and it was some beautiful views up there. A little bit of hard work, as I've hurt one of my knees, but still, it's still worthwhile going up there. But, yeah, Mount Wales, it's not one of your normal camps, it's the old lookout. And the old lookout, or the watcher, whatever you want to call him, or her, is still here. So that's why there's no normal shelter, you've just got the, I don't know if you want to call it a cabin or a cottage, and there's the old tower, which we'll go and take a walk up now. There's another chap here, so you might hear him in the background. I've just noticed they've taken the actual watchman's room off the top, which used to be up there. That's a shame. Last time I was here, that was on. <laughs> That's quite good. Somebody's put some chairs up there. So let's go and have a look, shall we? Yeah, How about that? It's a bit windy up here. Isn't that nice? Yeah, look at that view. Yeah, just beautiful. Hey, the last time I stopped here, a young couple actually slept up on this platform. And that's where I came from today, over them hills. Isn't that just beautiful. I keep saying the word beautiful, but it is out here. I just love it. And there's the cell phone tower and everything else they've got there. I don't exactly know what it is or what they're using it. That well, camp pitch was where I stopped last time. Uh, yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if it's the first time you've watched one of my videos, please go down below and click on the subscribe button. Click on the notification bell next to it. And also click on that like button. And if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much. So until next time, get out there, have some fun, and take care.